Oh, Tech Grubby here again. So, now the answer to the question, what was the blooper in the previous video? So what was missing? So those that had a sharp eye and counted the number of transistors probably noticed that there was something missing and it was the um, follower that wasn't in the circuit, the final circuit. So that's this part here. So anyway, now I added it and um, as we see it um, works quite well. But um, there is one thing with the follower, if you'd like to look at the, my video on the on the follower, but um, as it passes its zero point, then you will get a 0 0.3 volt error in the signal. And it's not very easy to see in here because it's an open circuit with a lot of disturbance, but it's still there. And um, there is a way to get rid of that. So um, let's have a look at that. So let's have a look at a few details first. So. Now we've um, implemented the differential part, and that's the inputs A and B. And then, uh, we went ahead and implemented the rest of the parts needed to def basically define an operational amplifier, which is to combine the differential part with a um, part that adds gain, and then a um, follower that um, basically increases, decreases the um, impedance of the uh, differential amplifier. And then um, you basically encapsulate all these and then we finally move to what one, how one usually sees a differential amplifier. So you usually make this kind of a rectangle and then you say you have the inputs um, actually minus and plus, not A and B, I've been indicating. And this is the feedback that I was discussing that when we want to get rid of that slight jitter related to the follower then we take a tenth of the um, output signal and we feed it back as negative feedback so that kind of smooths out the transition uh, 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 when it's crossing the zero point. I mean you can't really see it with this open circuit and, and, and measuring it on the oscilloscope like you see it gets it's working like a radio, so uh, no, it's very hard to show the actual it working. Um, but um, that's actually how you do it. And then um, you see a lots of operating amplifier usages where you create a pure voltage follower, so you actually um, put a direct feedback from the output to the minus, and then you just put in plus, and then you vary that, and then you get the output. <laughs> the, the problem with this circuit is that if I tried to do that, it would probably start um, uh, oscillating out of control because the, it's, uh, you, you basically you can't do it really with this kind of an implementation. It, uh, it's way, way it gets way too disturbed, and then you get internal oscillation. But um, yeah, so not far. So we have now progressed to a final implementation and the um, feedback loop. <laughs>